Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Alice and if you're new here and I am a grad student here in Tokyo and today I'm going to be introducing my top 10 things you can get or do at a Japanese convenience store. I'm sure you already know Japanese convenience stores, also known as konbini, are very convenient. It's really the best word to describe it because they have basically everything you need to live out your daily life. Also, there are about three or four main convenience store like brands or chains here in Japan. The top three in Tokyo being Family Mart, 7-Eleven, and Lawson. And I ran a poll on my Instagram the other day asking people their favorite convenience store chain. And these are the results. Kind of predictable, but honestly, in my opinion, the best convenience store is whatever is closest to your apartment. And in my case, it's Family Mart. Second is 7-Eleven. Third is Lawson, just because I don't have one near me. But actually, I like Lawson more than 7-Eleven. Sorry for the controversial take. Let's move on. So starting at number one, the best thing about convenience stores for me is their coffee and frappe machine. So convenience stores, of course, have like bottled coffees and things like that, but I would skip those depending on what you're doing, where you're going. Forget those things and go and use the machine. If it's a hot drink, usually you ask at the register for the cup. Always pay first before you go get the coffee. And for ice drinks, it's either gonna be behind the register or they're gonna have like a little cart thing somewhere in the store. I always get iced lattes. They're great. I think they're the best at Family Mart and 7-Eleven. Lawson's kinda... But in addition to coffee, you can also get like frappes. So like today, I got this Black Thunder drink. I already drank it, sorry. It's like a chocolate bar here in Japan and it was great. The machine just adds a little bit of hot milk to it so you like mix it up. So two, it's probably the most obvious one, is food. And by food in this case, I mean like ready to eat meals, like rice balls or like spaghetti, things like that. And something so, so good about convenience stores in Japan is that they will heat up the food for you behind the counter. The food is usually <laughs> pretty good. I wouldn't eat it every day, but it is great when you just don't wanna cook. But let's say you do wanna do a little, a little bit of cooking. That's the number three best thing about convenience stores. And that is like their dinner foods. It's kind of hard to describe, but basically I mean these little packages of food that you take yourself home and you put it in the microwave or something. And it won't be the whole meal. It'll just be a part of the meal but it gives me the illusion that I'm cooking when I'm not really doing much. So for example, hold up. So for example, I have these chicken meatballs. They are delicious. And all you do is you just stick this bag into the microwave, heat it up for two minutes and you have your main dish, meatballs. So all you need to do is prepare like rice, salad, and you got a dinner. I love it. Next is seasonal items. So Japan is super into producing seasonal anything, not just food. Everything is seasonal, but food has so many seasonal things. So right now, as I'm filming this, we are kind of just in choco mint season. So you're gonna see a lot of choco mint things just in this time of year though. So I can't really recommend you a specific thing, but a lot of the seasonal items at the convenience store are gonna have a red like sticker on it that looks like this. Or if it's a new item, it'll have a sticker that looks like this. So if you speak Japanese, look out for these things. If you don't, just, whatever looks good. Number five is travel size cosmetics. So actually I think the convenience store has a much better selection of travel size things than like a drugstore does, at least normal size drugstores. The convenience store will have like one or two like shelves full of just travel things and it is where I go if I'm gonna go on a trip and I want to buy shampoo or some like body wash even a little small thing of makeup. And if you're traveling and if you run out of something, it is great, just go to the convenience store. They have travel sized, basically all necessity things like contact lens solution. They even have like little hand towels and things if you forget. Number six is Ichiban Kuji, which is like, not gambling, it's like a lottery. So the availability of what the convenience store is gonna have for the lottery, it depends, but I really recommend looking up Ichiban Kuji if you're coming to Japan and see what they're gonna have out because they do a lot of different like anime merchandise especially or like Hello Kitty, things like that where basically the store is gonna have like this display of it sometimes or it's only gonna be behind the counter, it just depends. But if they have a display of it, you just take like a little ticket and then you bring it to the register, you pay and then you draw from a box to see what prize you get. Number seven 
are the book slash bags you can get. And they're basically things that they sell as books, but they're bags. Like they have a little book pamphlet in it just so they can sell it in this section of the store, but like it's just a bag or in this case, a pouch. So I got this at 7-Eleven last week. It cost about $15, but um, it's really adorable, obviously. And I've actually bought purses and things like that that I really like. Like I have this Rilakkuma bag and it's actually pretty worn out because I use it a lot. I got it like two, two or three years ago now, but it's it's a great size. It's like perfect casual bag. But yeah, definitely check out this section at the convenience store. Number eight is desserts. So of course there is ice cream, which is always changing and it's new. Every week I go, there's different ice cream there basically. So you never know what they're gonna have. So for example, these are three of the ice creams I got in the past week. I like to stockpile them. So this is a cafe au lait flavored ice cream. This is yucky pudding flavor ice cream sandwich. So like, it's like flan flavored. I haven't tried it yet. And then more pudding. <laughs> I got this like retro pudding flavored ice bar. I don't know why there's so much pudding stuff out. But then beyond the ice cream cabinet, please look at the dessert area. Usually it's going to be near like the yogurt looking things where they have like different cakes and puddings and Japanese sweets. So like today I just picked up this. It's called a imadake nani? Imadake waffle. And the inside is like on bata, which is um, like azuki bean and butter, which is like a popular breakfast bread spread kind of situation, kind of older style. But yeah, this is probably gonna be really good. I love this flavor. Number nine. Oh no, it's rainy. Oh no, what do we do? We don't have an umbrella. Go to the convenience store and just buy a $4 umbrella. This is what everyone in Japan uses basically. They're the clear types that you see probably like 70% of umbrellas are, at least 50, I don't know. Decently durable for the price and it's probably fine for your trip. Just be careful. These are like the only thing in Japan that get regularly stolen if you leave it in like an umbrella stand area at like a store or a restaurant because they all look the same and everyone knows that they're cheap. Usually people don't take my like obviously more expensive looking umbrella, like with patterns on it. But yeah, these clear things, they just, they're gone if you put it there. And 10 are services. Probably one of the easiest things to overlook at a convenience store, especially if you don't speak Japanese. So maybe as a tourist, you won't utilize all these services, but I think they're really cool to know about regardless. So for example, basically every convenience store is gonna have a printer slash scanner that can print basically at anything from photos to just documents and you just put money in it. I actually don't own a printer because I just go to the convenience store and use it whenever I need to. Basically all of them also have an ATM. Most of them are gonna have a bathroom, but it may not be open to the public depending on the location you're looking for the convenience store. Like I noticed a lot of them in like tourist areas, usually they're closed. You could also buy tickets. A lot of them are gonna have like this kiosk kind of thing where you buy tickets for like movies or museums, concerts. You may have to use one of these if you're trying to get a last minute ticket to like the Ghibli Museum or something. And then one of the things a lot of people don't realize is the convenience is kind of like a post office. So you can actually send things out via most convenience stores, whether it's just them having a post box or like handing it to the clerk. You can also actually, and this is very, very important to know if you are visiting and you don't have an address you can use to get things shipped to you. But if you wanna order on like Amazon, I know on Amazon you can do this. I think it's gonna depend on the website, but on Amazon Japan, you can get it shipped to a convenience store. It's not every convenience store, they're gonna have a list, but if you really want something and you're staying at a hotel that doesn't allow you to do this, this is a great way to get it. The only caveat to this is usually you can't get like a big package shipped there. They can only keep like smaller ones for, you know, obvious reasons. And also I've noticed there's like mercury posts popping up at like, at least family marts. So you can like ship things out using their kiosk. So you don't even have to talk to someone now. So yeah, those are my 10 top things about Japanese convenience stores. Honestly, everything about the convenience store I like. <laughs> Open 24 hours, always has food, great. Let me know what your favorite thing about the Japanese convenience store is down below. Whether it was on this list or not, let me know. I wanna hear it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel for more content about Japan and my life here in the future. And I will see you guys back here again next week as always. Bye.